Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm Carolyn. And I'm Tembi. And we are members of the Strong Heart Lakota Solidarity Project. This project is a unique human rights and social justice collaboration between the traditional Lakota Strong Heart Warrior Society, known as Chante Tiza, and the Four Direction Solidarity Network, which was founded in 2005. We are recording and documenting human rights abuses committed by the United States government, the illegal Oglala Sioux tribal government, and others against the traditional grassroots Lakota people. This documentation will be compiled as part of a comprehensive complaint that will be presented to the international community to create awareness and action. The Lakota are a migratory band of the indigenous people who once followed the great buffalo herds across the Great Plains region from Montana to Wisconsin to Nebraska. Made famous by warriors like Crazy Horse, Sitting Bull, and Rain in the Face, the Lakota are proud resistors to colonization and genocide of their lands and people. But the cost of resisting U.S. imperialism has been high. The 1868 Treaty of Fort Laramie is one of many efforts by the U.S. government and corporations to eliminate resistance and steal the Lakota land base for white settlements and resource extraction. On December 10, 1890, Bigfoot's riders, who sought freedom, were forced back to Wounded Knee on Pine Ridge. There, many traditional elders, women, children, and sick people were slaughtered in cold blood by the U.S. Cavalry. This day is considered the moment when the Lakota's tree of life was broken. Through unlawful action, murder, and forced starvation, the Oglala Lakota people have been forced inside one Connecticut-sized chunk of South Dakota called the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Despite many efforts to improve the conditions for the Lakota people, their situation is still grim. Lakota men have a life expectancy of less than 44 years, which is the lowest of any country in the world. 97% of Lakota people live below the poverty line. The Lakota teenage suicide rate is epidemic, at 150% higher than the U.S. national average. Alcoholism affects 8 in 10 families. 40% of the homes lack electricity. One-third of the homes lack basic clean water and sewage. There is an estimated average of 17 people living in each family home. But in an innovative and historic turn of events, Lakota elders and activists have asked us to document and record the human rights abuses they face, along with their struggles for justice. With assistance from the Strongheart Warrior Society on Pine Ridge, we have already recorded historic efforts by grassroots elders to arrest Oglala Sioux Tribal Council members for a host of crimes. We've interviewed elders and activists about their living conditions and activism. We've documented Lakota consultation with United Nations Rapporteur for Indigenous Rights, James Anaya. We've also tracked diplomatic efforts between traditional Lakota leaders and other nations regarding a unilateral attempt to renegotiate the 1868 Treaty of Fort Laramie without traditional consultations. And we've recorded the Lakota protest against racism at the Rapid City Regional Hospital. We have created videos and materials that help to educate non-natives about the Lakota people and their land base realizing that education and awareness is the first step in justice. Although we have already accomplished a great deal, we have not completed what the Lakota elders asked us to do, and we need your help. The Lakota are in this tragic situation because of the history of abuses committed by non-Native people, particularly white people. If you share my skin color, this is an opportunity to recognize the privileges we enjoy are in large part due to our exploitation of indigenous peoples. Let's end this exploitation. Stand in solidarity with us and with the Lakota people. Support our project today.